<laughs> dude, dude, there's like, like a, a seed. That's like the strawberry seed. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another grocery store deli food court episode of Fung Bros Food. Today, Whew. we have the epitome mm. of bougie In front of us, we have a spread from probably one of the more expensive but very popular national chains. And we are talking about Whole Foods. I would say that Whole Foods is the most expensive national chain of supermarket. It's actually a multinational chain now, and it is kind of expensive. Nell probably has zero exposure to it. Zero, <laughs> zero. Have you ever twice. stepped foot twice? In okay, twice. You have twice. you stepped twice. foot into one of these stores without us before? Yes, I have. Okay. I Whole Foods hot bar. Let's, Let's go. go. Thank you so much for clicking on that video. But real quick, I want to tell you about the sponsor, Bombfell, an app. You fill in your information, uh, your height, and everything like that, and then you connect with an actual stylist, a real person, who an expert, will, yeah, an expert who will help you pick out clothes. So after your stylist has picked out some pieces, you'll get an email, right? And then they'll say, "Hey, do you guys like these pieces? Do you like these pieces?" And then you have 48 hours to respond and be like, "Hey, I'd like you to re re outfit me." Right, Restyle right. me, please. Or, hey, I like them. Go ahead and ship them. I'll try them on. And that is what we're wearing right now. We are wearing Bombfell. So you know what I like about the clothes that, from Bombfell? It's not just clothes that you find anywhere. Guess what, guys? I want to tell you more, but watch the rest of this video. But if you are interested in Bombfell, go to bombfell.com slash fungros. That's B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L.com slash fungros. And you will get $25 off of your first Bombfell order. So... Watch the rest of this video, and we'll see you in a minute. Peace! Okay, so we are gonna hit you with the hot bar section. The hot bar, if you guys don't know, it kind of looks like a buffet when you walk up, okay? It's measured by the pound, $8.99 per pound here at this Whole Foods, no matter what you get. So we're gonna start off with the fried chicken. I would say at $8.99, I like it because it allows you to get a variety quickly. Whole Foods fried chicken from the hot bar. Let's go. It's almost like a, would you agree it almost tastes like a partially roasted? Yeah. Like a frosted. All right, so what's the rating, man? Out of five. Three out of five. Ooh, okay. How do you make the thigh meat taste like breast meat? No. 2.5. Ooh. Thought it had pretty good seasoning, but it wasn't like you know, like a slap in the face, like oh, big kick, you know. Um, it was just a solid chicken. I'm a 3.5. You know what I, I see happen is that the the batter is not very thick, and batter really locks in oil and juices. We have the regular roasted chicken, still Baked from the hot bar. Baked chicken. Whole Foods is lightly seasoning their chicken here. It's dry. Nah. Yeah. Dry? I, I would say. Uh, okay. Ooh. It's uncooked. What? Oh. Whoa. I knew it. I knew it. I saw it. Hold you know, on. underneath the skin. I was like, yo, that's too pink for hold me. Hold on, hold on. We got to um, examine this. I'll go with 2.5 out of 5. Kind of have knows. the same look of a smoked turkey leg, but it's not like smoked though. Yeah, I'm giving it a 2.5 out of 5. It's definitely lower than the fried chicken. 1.5. It don't taste good. The quality not good. All right, let's go to the Thai chicken, man. Drumstick. Drummy. Ooh, this looks flavor. Right. Thai chicken from the hot bar. Oh, that's unfair to compare. This is better. This oh, is good. Flavor-wise, it's better, but I still think the quality of the meat is just, that's two consecutive drumsticks that I ate that's dry. I almost got it downgraded to three. It is four. I gave the fried chicken a three. I have to give this a 3.5. 2.5. I still think the fried chicken is the best thing. Here are some tacos from the taco bar. Damn. They got a taco bar. David made some tacos for us. I made them. Wow. If anybody has any qualms with the <laughs> way these tacos were made, you know. <laughs> Who to come see? Here, David, here's some chicken that fell out. Whole Foods Taco Bar. I think if it was fresh, I would give it a four, but in the form that it was in, I'd give it a three, five. I give it a three. Average, 3.5 out of five. Inch. Here, we have the pastas, the cheesy pastas. Here, we have the baked ziti, and then we have the mac and cheese, OG, real cheese, and then oh, we dude. have the vegan mac and cheese, which they call mac and yeast. So let's try the baked ziti first. Why didn't you tell? Why don't you ever invite me over to your mom's house for some big ziti? I love the amount of ricotta in it. Big ziti of the Whole Foods world, dude. We didn't even give it a rating. I give it a two point seven five. What? I two give point. it a two point five. Two point five. It's a real deal, mac and cheese, man. I'm excited. I have very high expectations for this mac and cheese. Oh 
I want to love it. I do not want to say I love it. Two. Man! First deli that we reviewed where the flavor and the quality were so misaligned. Yeah, sure, the quality's bro. there. You can't even tell where, which one's the mac and which one's the cheese. It's just a big oh. chunk of something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. no, 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 no. I, it's going to give you high quality stuff that makes you feel clean when you eat it, but flavor is not the number one priority. <laughs> mac and yeez. Mac and yeez. Wow. Oh. Yo, this is way better than the other two. I'll give it a four. This is getting a four. No doubt. 3.5. 3. Okay. It is the best out of the Mac. Nothing too crazy. All right. Vegan chili. A little kick at the end. Ah. Ah. It doesn't taste bad. It almost had more of a minestrone vibe to it. Yeah. 3.5. 3.5, yeah. Looks like Whole Foods vegan stuff is really stepping up to the plate. Now, what do you say? Vegetable dislike man. 3.5, just because you said that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got green beans. The beans. Just take what a couple beans. That? Oh, I like how they have mushrooms in with yeah, the green beans. Yeah. I like mushrooms. Did you know they call these Chinese green beans? It does have some Asian flavor. I like it. Soy. Good. A 3.5, just to, just to, I'm gonna keep myself from going OD. 3.5 just for the mushroom. And just for that fact, Whole Foods gets a four. <laughs> Woo! Whole Foods samosas. Let's rip this open Ooh, for you. Ooh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. That looks flavorful. Mm. Three out of five for me. Okay, I give it a four because it tastes like it has meat yep. and there's no meat in it. Well, Andres curry. It Whole Foods does Indian food good, or at least it's tasty. This is good, it's good, it's good. I give it a, give it a four. four, I give it a four. I give it a 4.5 out of five. Wow, oh, stop. That's like the best thing I ate today. For real? Four rizzles. This is a double stuffed potato. So this is mashed potatoes that's a mixture squeezed onto a regular plain potato. Oh, what the hell? Yeah, that's um, juicy, bro. But not in a good way. I give it up. Give it a two. Go ahead and uh, throw out a 1.5 on it. Give it a solid two. <laughs> $8 per pound. We got four sausages. <laughs> mm. It's not that good. Oh, man. Where's the salt? What do you give it? it kind of has a weird a flavor one, to one it. One out of five, bro. The texture, I, I the can't. taste. I give it a one. What's in this crap, man? Banish the smoked sausage, take it away. Exile. We have the green dream, cucumber, celery, kale, lemon, dandelion greens, what? spinach, and parsley. I like this one because of the kale. Because we got another round, because we're comparing it to the blueprint organic kale it up. Romaine, apple, celery, cucumber, kale, lemon, spinach, parsley, and ginger. So I would say comparable ingredients. Yeah, correct. Six percent less sugar. Wow. Uh, it's much tastier. Here, tastier. But I prefer the Whole Foods one because of the dandelion greens. For $8.99 per pound, we have the buffalo chicken wings. Meatball first. What is it? You said just chicken. Chicken teriyaki. quinoa teriyaki. Chicken quinoa. Keen. Wow. Okay, it's cold. Oh, I yeah. give this a 2.5 out of 5 because I really like the sauce. I like the, the teriyaki. You place. know what? You're right. You're right. I really like the sauce. Teriyaki I'll give place it, is good. I'll give it a 2.5. 2.5. <laughs> Onto the buffalo wing. They use really lean chickens. Yeah. It's a solid chicken. Mm. The roll with them. Solid. 3.5 out of 5. Yeah. I, I can see 3. I can see 3.5. Like sweet chili chicken wings. Baked chili chicken wings. I'm giving both a solid 3.5. I will give both a three. Just depends on what flavor you like more. Oh, you guys making me want to just eat more. Here, I have rosemary potatoes, $8.99 per pound. I have uh, roasted Brussels sprouts with pomegranate and pumpkin seed, uh, $10.99 per pound. We have the Greek Oros salad, $10.99. Orzo. Smoked mozzarella pasta salad, $10.99. Okay. And then you have the broccoli salad, a $12.99. whopping $12.99. $8.99 for the classic coleslaw. All right, let's go with the potatoes. Small potatoes. So good. Flavor's good. Right. Brussels, let's go. Call oh, me Brussels okay. Westbrook. Honestly, I love Brussels sprouts. That one's good. That one's good. Four point five out of five. Bro. Smoked mozzarella. Smoked mozzarella, pasta. The mozzie. That's an explosion of flavor right there. Whoa, that's a kick though. That's what I'm saying. Hey, bro. is that the first thing that kicked you today? Right off the bat, 3.5 out of 
Okay, orzo got a lot of different stuff in it. Plastic. Orzo is a pasta that is shaped to look like rice. That is crazy. I did not know that. Orzo, easy to eat. I'll give it a three out of five. Very solid. Four. Wow. wow. Three out of five. I, I just think, enjoyed it. I don't like, like the cheese in it though. Like in the Ooh. slaw is extremely expensive. Mm. Twelve ninety nine. God. There's like <coughs> fish that's not even twelve ninety nine per pound. Broccoli crunch twelve ninety nine. This has got to be the highest end version of this. Actually, tastes very similar to Soup Plantation. Soup Plantation's broccoli is crunchier. All right, guys, let's move on to the coleslaw. Cabage? It's cabage. Cabage. Uh, uh, yeah. <gasps> nah. Tastes like soap. Don't want to say it's soap, but it is definitely comes off as soap. 1.5. 1.5. 1.5. Oh, look like a bitterness now. Here. Whoa, you guys, this Sonoma chicken salad that you're supposed to put in sandwiches, guess how much it is? $14.99. Oh, I was just gonna say that. 15 bucks. Wow. Hey, coconut, kale, salad, $12.99. And then what we have here? Beet latka. Yeah, I saw that. It's a latka, I which is a um, hash brown Jewish potato pancake. But this is made out of beet. You know what it is from afar, David? I was like, did you get a raw beef patty? Probably people use it as such. Latka. Lots of red in there. A lot of beets. Oh, I think the flavor is there. Kind of tastes like a hash the brown. Inside. Right? Like a hash brown. It does beef. not taste like a hash brown. Or feels like a hash brown. It has to feel like a hash brown because it has potato in it. It has to. I gotta give it a 2.5 out of 5. 2.5. Not bad though. Not bad, just not great. We got tuna, classic tuna salad. Oh my gosh, the strawberry pieces in this kale salad are humongous. I'm a big fan of kale. David, will this kale fail? It's not bad. $15 worth. Oh, I'm not yeah. sure. I'll give it a four. I agree. I'm gonna give it a 3.5. Uh, a knock because it's $15. It's tuna. You wanna talk about tasting homemade. To me, that tastes homemade. But that tuna salad surprisingly stayed chilly for a long time. You could eat that on bread, sandwiches, whatever you want, all types of carbohydrates. Tuna in general, I gotta give it a four. Yeah. But I don't really like tuna that much. You're more of a tuna guy than me. I like tuna. I give it a four. I give it 3.5. Kale, strawberry. That is 70% of an actual strawberry. <laughs> Dude, Dude, there's like, like a, a seed. That's like the strawberry seed. Kale's kind of dry. Kale's a little dry, but 3.5. I give it a four out of five. I don't really like kale. 3.5. 3.5. Okay. Mountain Valley Sparkling Spring. Boom. Mountain Valley for real mountain men. For you to cut, <laughs> to cut logs? I don't know. Mountain Valley from the Wachita tribe. Well, you broke back mountain, bro. <laughs> That's what it got to sound like for mountain men. Hey, here's my thing about Whole Foods. Now, it is kind of expensive, but if we had one up the street at this price, because you know, California, Whole Foods is priced a little bit cheaper than the New York one, I would go there more often. I get it, buying your regular produce and meat there might not be worth it for a lot of people. It's, I, I probably wouldn't shop there, I still go to Ralph's and Albertsons. But, man, for that prepared food, I'd get lunch there if it was two blocks away. Whole Foods being such a high quality chain, I feel like they could step up some of the you know, quality items. If they want to be known as a you know, high end quality branch or brand, Everything in there has to be high quality. It can't be inconsistent yeah. with their foods. Foods was fascinating. Whole Foods was fascinating, uh, but not everything. I noticed that today, because the things were too bland, dry. Uh, you know, oftentimes dry. we didn't even want to give things ratings. First of all, that is due to the health of the items, because obviously Whole Foods is a healthy chain. Mm -hmm. You guys, number one in the comment section below, please let us know if you think Whole Foods is overpriced or worth it. Number two, please let us know another supermarket or grab and go deli that you would like us to try on the next episode. Yo, everybody, thank you so much for watching that video. Uh, more on Bombfell. Things that I really liked about the experience was the app was really easy to use, and two, actually your stylist. There's cool little things about the app, like you can swipe on clothing that you like. And actually, guys, these, these brands, there's a lot of brands that we've seen before and that we like, um, and the quality is high. You can even pick your price point. So you know how some of the clothes that we were swiping on was more in like, they got up to, the jacks were like 250 and up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to, you don't, you don't have to look at clothes that expensive. You can go for the lower option. You set your range. Dude, there are options. It's like shopping for anything, man. You gotta set your range. So here's how it works. You do not have to keep every piece of clothing. When they send you it, if you keep four, you'll get 20% off. So it's like the more you keep, the more you save. 
the keep more, get more. So obviously if you only, only wanna keep two pieces, it's only 10% off, so it's like pretty close to retail, you know, minus a little discount. But man, you keep, the more pieces you keep, the bigger discount you get. Well, it's cool, it's like having a personal shopper, but then you're ultimately in the driver's seat about how much you wanna spend, what you wanna keep, so it's pretty good. Again, B-O-M-B-F-E-L-L.com slash Fung Bros, bombfell.com slash Fung Bros, you will get $25 off your first order. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that video. Check out Bombfell, like and subscribe. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. Shout out to Nelly Nell from Hoopin' Life. David and Andrew from the Fung Bros. Hey. You like the key, you like <laughs> it. Until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. Hey, no, is it because it started as a vegan spot? Uh, no, that's not true. N yeah? Nah, nah, nah. How is that I, not true? I, I like you don't be like, well, that's not for me. Uh.